know, I was looking for, you know, that kind of a space where, you know, children can play in trees, climb trees, pluck a fruit, eat. And after my marriage, uh, we wanted to shift to a place where uh, it's, it's, it's a little quiet and uh, green. So we also are different colours of Mitti around here. We come from different parts of the country, but the way we live here, I think our affiliation to the soil is uh, what brings us together here. Mitti Mane is a housing community in Bengaluru. It has people from across the country, from different professions, but united by a single passion, the dream to live a sustainable life. I was born and brought up in Kerala. Um, my, old, my house is a very old one, eight years old. I, I didn't want to live in an apartment, uh, many stories high. I wanted to live in an environment where there is a little langan backyard, where I can plant plants and things like that. Something uh, connected to the nature and earth. So that's what I really got uh, here in, in Mittimani. I wanted uh, something like what I have experienced in my childhood, being safe, playing outside and not being uh, indoor. So I wanted the same thing for my daughter as well. And I think we wanted to live in wilderness, away from the urbanization or modernity which was taking away, taking us away from our roots. The urge to be one with nature is a passion shared by all the residents here. The idea of community started to take shape after a group of like-minded people met at a sustainability workshop. This was almost in, I think, 2001 or 2002 that uh, you know, I came to know about uh, Asta as an organization and I attended a workshop and that's where I met many of the people who stay with us right now. Later, of course, uh, you know, the land was procured and you know, we said, okay, we make it like this and there were a lot of things were discussed. The earliest residents, a group of 28 people, bought four acres of land in Chikkanaikanhalli, a village in the outskirts of Bengaluru. The idea was to transform the land into an eco-sensitive community. The idea that everybody had at that time was to stay as close to nature as possible and keep, uh, you know, uh, live a life where we we don't uh, uh, we are uh, with nature most of the time. I also was always uh, fond of gardening. I also fond of growing trees and looking after plants. So right now, sustainability has become a buzzword and everyone uh, talks about, each builder and each person talks about you know, living in a sustainable way or making sustainable uh, projects. But uh, I think what real sustainability is, uh, has to be uh, you know, experienced when you live actually in, uh, you know, in, the, in the way I think this community is living. If there is a lot of hardship. It is not that simple. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to you have to walk the talk basically. As of now, the Mitti Mane community has 15 houses. Each house is built on an individual plot of 3,000 square feet. At the core of the architectural philosophy is earth architecture. The houses are made of mud and other locally available materials. Some of them have been built completely using mud blocks with very little steel. Some houses have a cement mixed foundation and beams. There are houses which are completely built on mud using a technique called rammed earth. Every house in the community has energy saving techniques like rainwater harvesting, solar panels, waste composting, and some of them even treat and reuse their wastewater. These techniques have helped them reduce the carbon footprint and bring down the cost of construction. 
ಈ ಮನೆಗಳನ್ನ ನಾವು ಮಡ್ ಮಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿರೋ ವಸ್ತುಗಳನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಸೊ ಕಂಪೇರಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಗಳಿಗೂ ಇದಕ್ಕೂ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತರಿಂದ ಮೂವತ್ತು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವು ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓವರಾಲಾಗಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಥರ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿಲಿ ಇರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಭಾಳ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ and uh, it is about 2300 square feet in all we built it 6 uh, years ago 6 7 years ago and uh, that was cost at that time around 55 lakhs which included some of the interior work also which these these people only did for did for us and at that time if i had gone in for a regular kind of a construction cement steel whatever uh, it would have cost me uh, must be around 70 to 80 lakhs the community soon started drawing more and more people in I do have an house in Bangalore where uh, if I built but I had to take a call you know uh, do I really need that kind of a life or I want to more connected to the nature you know that's where I made a call that you know I need to make some changes in my life and that's how I moved into this space it is very hard decision that we had to take moving out from our own house and you know coming here staying in a rented house but we never felt um, you know this attend in this community mitti mane we feel very safe uh, and uh, we feel uh, we are healthy we are protected uh, hi my name is harita i have been part of the mitti mane community for the past 7 uh, months so when we uh, were looking for houses uh, we were looking for a you know a greener and a quieter place and when we got to know there's a house available here um like there was no turning back after that because it was the community uh, that pulled us here uh, i've been in bangalore for quite um, quite many years now 12 years now um one of the things which i miss is the fact that uh, in the apartments which where i lived i never knew who the who who my ni- neighbors were and uh, there was so less interaction and when i came to know about this community here um one added advantage that i had was the fact that here everybody knows each other and they all live as a community it is this sense of community that sets mitti mane apart as the community expands the residents have all committed to certain guidelines that would be impossible to enforce elsewhere For instance the community agrees that only environmentally friendly and sustainable construction methods will be allowed only one story buildings will be permitted energy saving devices like solar panels and solar heaters are promoted groundwater recharging techniques like rainwater harvesting and grey water treatment are encouraged concrete paving of open areas is avoided to ensure all rainwater gets absorbed Another unique feature of Mitti Mane is that an area of around 1 acre is marked out as common land. This land belongs to everyone in the community. Some of this land has now been converted into a community garden and food forest. plan to start a community kitchen is also on the cards whether it is an experiment a temporary break or a conscious choice it takes the commitment to a sustainable lifestyle a step further so we've also seen uh, many other communities uh, where there are uh, many people living together but they are not they don't have any connection to each other people are leading uh, busy lives you know uh, not knowing what's happening in the neighborhood uh, not knowing where the mil- children not knowing young children not knowing where milk comes from and where fruit and vegetables come from they think it's bought uh, from the shop uh, somewhere we feel uh, if our kids could know that yeah uh, rain gives us water and not the tap uh, that fr- uh, trees give us fruit and not the vegetable vendor only you know that uh, sunlight uh, gives us energy in various forms 
and you know uh, somewhere if this connection uh, everybody is able to make i feel it's the responsibility of the community to give uh, to help make these connections for for all of us and our children uh, uh, this community is able to do that i wish many other communities also are able to do Thank you.